Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you all doing today? Here we are, March the 2nd. How are you feeling, folks? How are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. I've got a lovely day ahead of me with yoga and friends and chilling and cats. There's one right here next to me, Flame again. Hello, Flame. Say good morning. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I had a lovely time at the um, at Meatloaf yesterday and had a lovely lunch at um, Comtois Libanais, which is a lovely Lebanese restaurant there's branches all over London Kingston all that and Stansted even I think yeah lovely Lebanese food so that was um fantastic I just wanted to talk to you a little bit I did a little live last night about how um there's so much going on astrologically this month um we've got a full moon next week we we've, we've we've a new moon at the end of the month obviously um but we've also got several conjunctions we've got two major planets very, very slow moving planets, changing signs. Um, and um, we've got lots of solar flares and solar storms going on as well. Now, none of this if, is gonna affect, affect you if you're at peace. None of it will affect you if you're at peace, if you're aligned with your heart, okay? So if you've got people, if, you, you know, if, you've, if you're hearing people saying, oh, if you're feeling tired, it's because of the solar storms, that's not true, okay? Everything that's going on outside of us is mirroring back where we're out of alignment. So if you're feeling tired, it's because you need to rest. If you're feeling tired, it's maybe because you, you, you're not putting enough joy in your life. All right, so don't, don't blame it on things outside of you. I can't, I can't stress this strongly enough because every time that you say, oh, I'm tired because there's a solar storm going on, I'm tired because there's a full moon, I'm tired because of this or because of that. What you're doing is you're disempowering yourself because you're not listening to what your body's trying to tell you. There's a message for you there, okay? If you're, if you're tired, it's because you need to chill out and you need to spend some more time um, doing things that bring you joy, all right? Because otherwise that tiredness is gonna turn into illness, it's gonna turn into lack of financial abundance, it's gonna turn into people being unkind to you, it's gonna turn into all sorts of things because your life will keep contracting and contracting if you're not listening to your own signs and messages. Now this, this message is really important for this month because this month is a huge month. It's the biggest month of the year. There is so much going on that is going to mirror stuff back to us, okay? Now, as I said, if you're in peace, then, th th then those things are going to be minor or if anything at all, all right? If you're aligned with your heart, you're just going to find joy and peace and happiness and love in every single moment. Um, whereas if you're not, the universe is going to start mirroring back to you where you're out of alignment. And many, many, many people, as I did, 28 years ago when we had the last Saturn, Saturn sign change are going to find that they're going to wake up to realizations about themselves because it's all about ourselves. yeah we're going to wake up to realizations about ourselves some of us are going to have major major shoves yeah major shoves Maybe we're going to have car accidents. Maybe we're going to have find out that we, we, we've got serious illnesses. Maybe we're going to find that people were taken away from us, just as I did seven, um, seven years ago now. Yes, six, six years ago. All right, because all these planet changes are mirroring back to us what is going on inside, what, what we're not seeing, where we're not aligned with our hearts, all right? So if any of you are struggling... Or being challenged, really feeling out of sorts, and you want some help, then you can get in touch with me. We can we can do some we can book you in for a tarot reading, some spiritual life guidance, whatever it is you need. There's lots of other people out there doing the things that I'm doing. But remember, if you just keep blaming outside of you, you're never actually you're gonna find you're gonna find that your lessons are gonna get harder and harder until you have to stop blaming outside of you. Okay. I've just picked up my daily teachings again this morning and um, I actually picked this paragraph last night because it resonates with me and with what, what I feel is going on at the minute. When there is a big change of energy that affects our lives, we often label it as bad and cause ourselves sorrow, pain and suffering by resisting that change. But you always have a choice. 
The thing is, until you're aware that you have a choice, you can't make a choice. You, 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 you still keep going on, going on in your ego-based behavior, thinking it's everybody else's fault or, or everything always happens to you. Not understanding that actually the universe is sending you these lessons in order to help you grow, in order to help you let go of, the, of, of things and people that are not serving your highest good. It's, the universe is helping you vibe higher, align with your heart. All right, so you always have a choice. You can carry on down the path of ego, the, the path of fear, the, far, the you know, and, and carry on, you know, being anxious and all these types of things, or, or, or being, you know, so stuck that you, you, you know, you can't bend, you can't change your life when, when you actually can. Everything is a choice, all right? Or you can choose to say, do you know what? This is happening. I accept it. If I'd have said that, you know, I couldn't have said it six years ago because I wasn't aware of all these different um, philosophies and choices and ideas. But if I'd have known six years ago that when, when everything happened to me with my family just leaving me, all my friends leaving me, if I'd have understood that it was all happening for my highest good, I can see that now, but if I would have just let go instead of trying to keep, you know, keep chasing everybody, then, then my life would have been very, very different. But I was not meant to take that path because I was meant to learn all of these lessons in order for me to be where I am today. And, and also in order for me to share and help people like you that may be going through similar things. I can help you. If it's illness, if it's family relationships, if it's romantic relationships, if it's friendships, if it's your jobs, if it's, if it's anything, anything i can help you understand why these things are happening and i can help you understand that you have a choice of accepting and letting go or continuing to chase or run whichever it is that you do okay because as long as you chase or run basically you're you're not aligned with your heart and you're just going to attract more and more karmic lessons and um yeah i know okay with this saturn change saturn as I, i've said before changes sign once in every 28 years. 28 years ago, I found out, I realized, I became aware that I was gay. That was my my big moment in, in, in my life with my, with my last Saturn, Saturn change. But the thing was, that, that at that point, I was not aware of anything, anything that I'm aware of now. I was still in such a people-pleasing mode um, and so I, I couldn't even accept that I was gay. I, I tried to be straight to please other people because I was such a people pleaser. I was at the bottom of my list. And so that began that whole 28 year phase um, of me, you know, of me going through tougher and tougher lessons. And they did get tougher and tougher and tougher until six years ago when they got so tough that I had to let go. There was no other choice. All right, so this is the thing, many of us, many of you, not me, not me, <laughs> I've done it. I've left behind my messed up world. And when I say messed up world, I say that in, in, a, in, a, in a loving way because the mess, the mess that I, that I went through helped me create and, and come back home to my heart and create the person that I am today. All right, but so, very many of you, Maybe not the people watching this, maybe people who stumble across this. If you're watching me regularly, I would imagine that you're probably going to encounter, um, uh, you know, lots and lots of, of, um, of, of lovely things coming in for you for the next 28 years, things that you're going to want. But there are going to be some of you that are stumbling across this, that are going to find yourself in a place where I was 28 years ago, where many of us have been. And that's a place where we're going to be attracting karmic lessons a whole new karmic cycle that is going to bring through stuff that is good but it ultimately is helping us all break out of of, of, our, of our low vibrational learnt behaviors and and it's helping us see who we truly are and bring us bring us out bring us back home to our hearts and um, as i said yeah you have a choice in every single moment about which path you're going to follow 
You can, you can follow your heart, you can follow your ego. Your ego is the one that wants to run from love, or it's the one that wants to chase love, okay? Your heart is the one that knows you are love and that accepts exactly what you're sent in every single moment of every single day, okay? So if you want any help with that, because that's peace, acceptance and surrender that is where peace lies and it lies within all of us you can choose in every moment to be in peace to accept where you are or you can struggle and fight against it but the struggle and the fight it it it, it, it gets you nowhere because you can't fight against where you are you really can't you are where you are and and acceptance and surrender is the answer let me just read this last, there's another half to this. In the universe, there is never just one way and you are never trapped with no way out. No matter what has occurred, in every circumstance and moment of your life, there are two paths available to, to you. The two paths are the positive and the negative and you are the one who chooses which path you will take. Now, I don't believe in positive and negative because I believe everything is good. Everything is sent for our highest good. Okay, so instead I would I'd prefer to say that the, the two paths are ego or heart, okay? And, um, oh, adverts, don't know adverts. Skip. Skip. So, yeah, the two paths are ego and heart, all right? So if you, if you, if you, if you, you, if you align, if you choose the ego path, if you choose what you've always done before, then you're always going to get what you've always got and it's going to get harder and harder until you, until you choose your heart path, okay? So it's, it's about slowing down, it's about listening to your body, it's about understanding that everything that's happening outside of you is a reflection, it's, it's reflecting what's going on inside of you. You can learn so much if you start adopting the attitude of, oh, what is that trying to teach me? Why, did that, why was that person just unkind to me? Where am I being unkind to myself? Because if I'm being unkind to myself, that's how I've attracted someone being unkind to me. All right? So yeah, there's lots and lots of ways. Get this book, Daily Teachings, The Secret. Read The Secret. Read about the law of attraction. Book a session with me if you're interested. If you want to get a group together, um, I, 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 I prefer you to get the groups together because um, that takes the onus on and the pressure off of me. I, um, six people, minimum six people, £20 each for a two-hour session at my home here in, in Mayland. You can have one-offs or you can have weeklies, whatever you, whatever you choose, whatever works, okay, with, with, with all of us. But, um, yeah, if you want to want to chat about all the things that I do, just give me a call or, or send me some, a message. You can find my number on my page, um, on, my, on, my, on my Good Karma Facebook page. Um, there's a WhatsApp link on there. So, yeah guys remember that the power is within you it's never outside of you no one or no one has control over you nothing has control over you you have control to create the life that you wish and if you're not living a life that is comfortable and and peaceful and loving then you, then then the knowledge that you can change it should be exciting you should be excited by that knowing that you can change it yeah you don't have to be a victim to your own life to anything that's going on in your life, whether it's ill health, whether it's money, financial issues, whether it's relationship issues, whether it's job issues, whether it's anxiety, whatever it is, you do not have to have it in your life, but you've got to choose to not have it. You've got to choose to align with your heart, okay? And I can help you if you, if you, if you wish me to. Okay, lots for you to think about this morning, sending you so much love. Try and create yourself a day from peace and joy and happiness and love. I love you all.